Hi, it's Lee, and I've decided that this year I'm turning over a new leaf and I'm getting organised. I'm going to write down my goals. I'm no longer going to have sticky notes on what I want to colour. I'm going to know my dreams, what I want to achieve this year, especially related to colouring. So I created an organiser or a plan or a colouring log. So I have a monthly spread. I have challenges there to keep my mind active and challenge myself. Little picture to colour in if I want, but no pressure because I've got heaps of colouring books that I can colour in. And I'm going to write down my colour alongs, the hashtag. If I actually joined it, I can tick these things off and feel like I've achieved something. And as well, weekly spreads even have a mood tracker so different emojis or emoticons to show what mood i'm in that particular day and if i'm feeling lazy i can just color one of those just to get my coloring in for the day and of course there's a little picture there to color if i want to but quite frankly i've got all my books and i can keep track of my coloring for the week because it's so good for your mental health to just color so even if i just colored the emoji on monday that'd be something that i could tick off and feel like that i've achieved something now this is printed on us letter size but if there was enough interest, I would make it into A5 size or something else as well. If you're in Australia, I printed this out on A4 paper, which is slightly bigger. At the end of every month, I have got a review. So I can see how many of those goals at the beginning of the year I actually have achieved and I can mark them off. And I can keep note of what I coloured, what I learnt, my favourite picture, the highlight of my month, anything to do with colouring, I can put it in here and also what I want to work on. So often when I'm reviewing books, I pick out pictures that I want to colour, but now I've created a space where I can actually remember and don't have a bookshelf full of books with sticky notes in them on different pages. So I've got some notes here at the end and a dotted uh, page for those that like to bullet journal and as requested in my coloring group I've added some more pictures for those that may not have the selection of coloring books that I have to color. So all of the 12 months of the year are here and each month starts with a bit of graph paper if you want to do your own doodly and because it's a digital download of course you don't have to print out the whole thing you can just print out whatever you fancy now at the end i've also got a spot for a wish list so if anyone wants to buy me a birthday present i can just refer to my wish list and say here we go well here's santa here's what i actually want and i can even write down the price uh, just to keep within budget especially for my budget i have a coloring budget and uh, you know i don't buy anything if, unless it fits within my budget for that particular time now i've also got a spot to write out my completed coloring pages and a spot for those whips so if i want to take part in something where you color a whip i can write down my whips here i can write down what book it is what picture it is and the page number and i can keep track of it and go back and when i've got time i can go oh yeah there's that whip i'll dig that book out rather than go through my mountain of books and this is really important for me this is the to be colored I often review a book and I look at a picture, especially if it's seasonal, like Halloween or Christmas, and I go, oh, I'll colour that then. And then I forget all about it. So I can write down here what book it is and what picture. And I can even put in page number if I'm a good girl. I mean, quite frankly, I'm probably not. Um, and I can also keep track of new book releases. So there might be books coming out in April that I want to keep an eye on so I can write it there and just refer to the spot because that might be something that I might want to buy. And I can keep note of what I want to learn. So I love learning things, but I often 
forget. <laughs> and so I might want to learn how to paint gold, for example. And I know that there might be a great tutorial on YouTube and I can follow that and then just write a quick little bullet point of what I actually learned. And it's a good way of looking back on the year and seeing what you've achieved in the colouring world. And I've also got some challenges here. So this is a birthstone one where you can colour up birthstones and palettes. And of course, a bit of bingo for your art supplies and for your books, just to have some fun little challenges there. And of course, at the end of the year, just a review. Now, I know it's a bit late in the day, uh, and some of you may already have planners. So I've also got an undated version of this, again on letter paper, but if uh, people would like it in A5, I can do that as well. Just let me know. And I've got some gift tags there for Christmas as well. Now being a digital download, you can just print out the pages that you want or don't want, use what you like. So that's it from me. The link for the coloring log is below the video. And special thanks to Katrina and my colouring group for their input and Katrina especially for naming this organiser that's going to keep me on track this year that might even be useful for you as well. So that's it from me. Until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.